Okay, welcome to the Fat Boys version of the Cambria Way. We're just finishing it, sort of. But we thought, eh? Not right, but you know. Not far off. This will be a series of seven vids. Each leg conveyed to you in wonderful Flat Boy style. Is that, do I say Flat Boy? Okay, welcome to the Fat Boys version of the Cumbria Way. Take two. Take two. We are <laughs> we are about to get into Colbeck, but we thought we'd introduce the videos this way. Look at the sign, look, it's saying go that way. This is the start of an adventure, even though we're nearly finishing. You got the hang of it? Alright, well you're about to see seven videos. Starring Diddy David. Hello. Chris. With mud just gone up his leg, look. <laughs> you get the idea what it's going to be like anyway. Have fun. Goofy. <laughs> Cumbria Way, according to maps and books, is around 74 miles, 119 kilometres long, and that's if you never stray from the main route. It winds its way through the heart of the Lake District National Park, linking the two historic Cumbrian towns of Ulverston and Carlisle. It takes you through classic Lakeland countryside via Coniston, Langdale, Borrowdale, Derwentwater, Skidore Forest and Caldbeck. It is mainly along low level terrain but does contain a high level section or two. The team have wanted to complete this for several years now as the route meanders through some beautiful valleys and alongside three of Lakeland's most mellifluent waters which as yet were unexplored by us. Our plans for this walk have changed over the years from originally wanting to go with full backpacks and wild camping to eventually enlisting the help of one of the team to sherpa mammoth amounts of gear to the various camping locations in a large van, thus allowing us to day sack and use campsites for a bit of glamping rather than wild camping. It also went from wishing to complete it over five days to decide to take it all in and enjoy the daily walks over seven days. As a result, by walking to and from the campsites from the route and doing the odd little bimble to various viewpoints exploring, we actually recorded a staggering 94 miles, 151 kilometres, and over 11,288 feet, that's 3,440 metres, in total ascent. This first video of day one is a 15 mile stretch starting from the Cumbria Way Cairn and Compass sculpture in Ulverston. Setting off in glorious weather, soon gaining height into some beautiful countryside. Entering the National Park at Gorthwaite, carrying on to Tottlebank and Kilnbank, then passing the lovely Beacon Tarn to Coniston Water. We walk along the water's edge for a few miles before branching off west to our first night under canvas at Hothwaite National Trust campsite in Torva. 
Now we walked every inch of the Cumbria Way route, even doubling back if we went wrong. We didn't catch any buses, lake ferries, or walk along an easier, straighter road instead of the path like we witnessed some people doing during the walk. You're about to see the complete route, walked from start to finish, and best of all, filmed in glorious sunny weather, showing the Lake District at its very best. We loved every second of it. We hope you do too. Enjoy. Well, Hello there. I think we've got to go this way. I'm not sure. How do you do? Because it says. It says start of the Cumbria Way. Let's go. Yes, there's the mill. You are Davy. You are Bert. This is very different. Start of the Cumbria Way. Expect the flags, Dave, did we? Fantastic. What a cracking start to this walk. Leaving Olverston, gaining some height, really super. Welcome to Fat Boys on Tours, Cumbria Way Walk. There's many videos out there, but hopefully this one you'll find interesting. We're doing it over seven legs, and each video will take on one leg. At this moment in time, we're on our way to Host Weight Farm, the National Trust campsite at Torva. So we'll look forward to taking you along with us. Enjoy the ride. Cheers. Boys, together again, and we're going to do this. Beautiful weather, birds are singing, bluebells behind Graham. What else can you ask for? Shake on that. 
Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do it. <laughs> Onwards. This 74-mile Cumbria Way walk from Ulverston to Carlisle was being completed by us for the charity Marie Curie, something close to both David and Chris in particular. Dave having survived two bouts of cancer and to Chris as their hospice facilities had looked after his wife Sharon's father for quite some time. As we had around 14 to 15 miles to complete, our pace was a little bit faster than normal to make sure we rendezvoused with Claire in the support van on time. But there's always time to take it in. Spirits were high and we just could not believe our luck. Not only was the forecast fantastic for today, but also it was predicted to be just like this all week. a bit of trouble here when you walk along the Cumbria Way. There's several footpaths that are not the Cumbria Way so you have to be very careful and keep your eye out for the little footpath sign that actually has Cumbria Way stamped in the middle of it. But it's all going well. We're five miles in and uh, Bert's knee is a little bit sore. Chris has got a cold and Dave is just old. But uh, we're still going well and I'm pleased to say my foot's holding up, so it's onwards. As you saw, we've just enjoyed a nice break at Beacon Tarn, and very nice it was too. Very pleasant in this wonderful weather. We're now walking on to Coniston, but we're stopping just before in Torva at a place called Hothwaite Campsite, which is a National Trust campsite, all paid and expecting us and we're looking forward to it. This is the box. It is, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Good night for a bit, Dave, could you? Good. Really? Where are we? I'm totally lost. Uh, well, we're, we're below Beacon Fell. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. below Beacon Fell. And uh, 
Unfortunately, I can't remember the outline fells over there. It begins with a Y, but I can't remember it. Uh, I will put a little, little white line on there saying what it was. Note to yourself. <laughs> what do you think of it so far, Galloway? First what? What do you think of it so far, sir? So far? Yes. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Coniston, what a beautiful day and what a beautiful water. Bit of useless information for you that Mick Geraghty, founder member of the Fat Boys, informed me of, which you're probably all aware of, that there's actually only one lake in the Lake District. The rest are waters and mirrors. And this is Coniston Water. And how gorgeous is it at this moment in time? Bert's just christened himself in it. Fantastic walk. Absolutely glorious day. It couldn't have been any better. What a fantastic day. Really beautiful. So pleased that it was a long day for us. Most people are going into Coniston. We're just going up the road there to Hothwaite Farm. We're now going to walk along the beach now. Enjoy the beach. Absolutely superb. I know I've said it a few times, but I mean it. <laughs> and now we're going on through Coniston tomorrow and we'll get to Tarnhouse and eventually Tarnfoot Farm. So a nice easy day tomorrow. This has been 14 and a half and we're going to do nine miles tomorrow. We've arrived at Hothwaite campsite. National Trust. Getting ready to pitch our tents, but we're just waiting for our support vehicle because we're a little early with the lovely Claire. All done and dusted, Bert. <laughs> Long last. Easy bit done. Easy bit done. 15.3 miles, quite a bit. We've got to put up with a few people doing stuff like this on a campsite, but you know, there we are, you can't go anywhere nowadays without someone doing something to piss me off.
Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Make sure you look out for the other six in the series showing all the legs all the way to Carlisle. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube website. All 214 Wainwrights captured in video as well as the outlying fells and various other walks. As always, hopefully one day we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.